Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I uh, just want to do a quick uh, wrap up video for a video I posted just about two weeks ago. Um, the subject of that video was uh, finding Morgan dollars still being turned into uh, the banks. And uh, in that video, uh, while roll, uh, you know, searching for rolls uh, and loose uh, half dollars and dollar coins, um, I had a teller approach me and told me that she had taken in a couple of what she thought were silver coins, and she described them as rather large and uh, with a funny face on them, which I thought was kind of funny in it in itself. But so uh, I showed her a picture of a Morgan dollar and asked her if she looked it looked like that, and she said that that it did. So I told her I was interested in you know looking at them and maybe buying them if if, if she you know wanted to show them to me. So we agreed for her to bring them in, and you know over the course of two or three more. Uh, interactions. Uh, she brought them in. I was able to photograph them and reference them and just kind of, um, you know, I tested them as well. I, I ping tested them in the lobby. Um, and then, you know, just based on what I was able to to gather and uh, surmise, I, uh, you know, made her an offer and uh, asked if she would be interested in selling them. Uh, her reply was that she wanted to think about it, but, you know, that I could come in uh, sometime this week. <laughs> and here they are. So I did come in. It was the day before Thanksgiving. And uh, when I went in and asked her if she had given it any more thought, uh, she kind of joked around and said, uh, I guess I'm not going to retire anytime soon. And I joked back and said, well, I don't think either of us will. So, um, But she did agree to uh, sell them to me at, at what I had offered. And um, what I had done was I offered her $100 for both of them, right? So before anybody goes nuts, oh, you're overpaid. Blah, blah, I gave her $40 each for them. And I also gave her $20 so that she can buy herself a nice lunch one day, um, just as a, as a means of saying thank you, not only for, uh, you know, even bringing them up to me, right, to even uh, entrust me enough to ask about them, um, but also just for her time, right, I, I, went, I went in there two or three times, in fact, three or four times, and, um, you know, I was very respectful of her job responsibility, so when she had customers, you know, I knew to kind of back off, in fact, one day I left, and probably 10 minutes after I left, she called me, and had me come back down. That was the last day we spoke, and that's when I was able to buy them. So what I did pick up was a 1901, 1901, uh, New Orleans Mint Mark O, in pretty good shape. You know, it's got a little bit of, um, as you would expect, you know, just kind of discoloration to it and a little bit of fogginess, but overall in good shape. Uh, you know, a little wear, some contact marks. And these were, and here's the 1887 Philadelphia. The reverse on thing on this is amazing. Um, look at that. That's the reverse. And here's the obverse. 1887. I have one of these in MS64 uh, PCGS slab. I believe this is the highest mintage uh, year of all the Morgan dollars. Um, 40 million or maybe some, just a little bit more. But... It was just cool to know that these got turned into the bank. Uh, whoever turned them in, it was an older woman, uh, found them while they were doing some maintenance in their call space in their house. They found them in a the jar uh, with some other coins. So I could just imagine what the other coins were. Who knows if they were silver quarters and dimes and stuff. Never got to see those, but she knew to at least get these out of circulation. She bought them out of circulation for a dollar because that's they got turned into the bank for a dollar each. So she bought them out of her drawer for a dollar, and then I bought them from her. So the little extra I paid, that was for her time. And also, you know, to plant a seed of goodwill. Um, a lot of people in the comments of that other video were saying how I should have never told her what they were worth or told her how to look up the value. Um, one guy went as far as saying that she's just going to pass along counterfeits to me, uh, and that's what tellers do when they realize they took in fakes. So it just you know, some of that stuff didn't even make sense. But, you know, I understand somebody suggesting, well, you should have never told her, but, but I don't operate that way. You know, look, if I get them, I get them. If I don't, I don't, I have them. And if I don't get these, I'll get some other ones down the road. But I'm not going to try to cheat somebody out of, I think everybody deserves cool coins, right? So I'm not going to try to cheat her out of anything. And it paid off. I have them right here. So for everybody who said I wasn't going to get them, that's silver right there, doggy. Okay, so uh, be cool to everybody, be kind to everybody, share something with someone, and uh, happy coin roll hunting, happy coin roll searching and coin searching, and, and I hope you find what you're looking for, and I hope you find something exciting. Until next time.
please do share something with someone and we'll see you again. Bye.